since 1900. Go this game has brought the two sides of the state together. I think the Cougs are going to finally get a little redemption that we've been needing this whole season. And I think that it's important that she has hope. It's just a tradition that we love to celebrate with friends uh, that, that are foes, but at the same time, at the end of the day, we're just Washingtonians. My fingers are so cold, I'll tell ya. Susie and Tom McQuarrie have been coming to Apple Cup since they got married more than 50 years ago. My loyalties are clear, crimson and gray. And purple. <laughs> yep. It's a house divided every late November. There were a few years there where after the game, Tom did not speak to me. For a few days, there was silence at our house. There's no doubt, this Apple Cup is different. It has a little edge to it. Yeah. The whole idea of the Pac-12 falling apart like that is just ridiculous. Yeah. Next year, these longtime cross-state rivals will play in different conferences. I know it's all about money. That's just the reality of it. Now, the Apple Cup itself isn't going anywhere. The teams recently signed a deal to play for at least the next five years. But next year, the game is in September. It's over at Lumen Field. Can the passion surrounding the Apple Cup survive this conference breakup? It's got to be the same. I mean, traditions do matter. And I feel like in the day, like this is a tradition for Washington. For some, the tradition runs too deep to just walk away from it. I think the Apple Cup will, will live on no matter when we play it. Well, ask me in a year. We'll see. But for the McQuarries, who know a little something about how to keep a relationship strong, don't know if they'll be able to get over this. It's all falling apart. It's sad, 